All right. Hello again. I'm, I'm Jack from the MTS Newsroom. Uh, came up from the Board of Trade across the street over here. It's about 11.25 Central. Now, the bonds are trading 147.24 right now. What, what we've seen happen is this morning about 9.30, there were some block trades done. 17,000, 10 years, 17,000, five years. And the market changed at that point. Uh, up to then, we had a pretty you know, a pretty clean trade of just being short below 147.17, keeping ourselves short, looking for the market to just keep breaking down. Those block trades hit the market and everything changed. I think also at the same time you had the European close coming in soon after, you had Boehner speaking. But I mention that because some days the market just trades the way it's the way I say it's supposed to trade. Now that might sound, I'm not saying I say it's supposed to trade, but there's certain ways the market's supposed to trade. Certain ways it ebbs and flows and extends ranges and pulls back. Yesterday after the FOMC, that's what we saw. Uh, spots that should have been resistance, they, they, they act as resistance, we came off them, pretty easy trade. That's how it was this morning, but as I said, about 9.25, 9.30, that all changed. Now, with bonds trading 147.24 going forward, if they go up to 148 even, 148.01, you're going to see some follow through up higher, up towards 148.12. All right, so that's where you want to be long. Now, as far as, and my bias is the downside. Okay, I have a downside, a, a bearish bias on bonds and notes. But we aren't out of the woods yet till you're below 147.20. All right, so get back below 147.20, then I may try and sell some upticks against 147.27, 28. Uh, and again, you know, if we can extend the lows, and the current low right now is uh, 147, uh, I'm pretty sure 10, 147.10. So, or, well, here's the point, I think it's 09. If we can go 147.08, 147.07, trading down there, look for a push lower to 147.01. Okay, so that's some thoughts for you in the bonds. Now, March S&P, and most of the guys are still trading the uh, Ds. The roll is going on, but most of the guys I talk to are still trading Ds S&P, so I'm really kind of blind as far as what that's trading right now. But here's, here's some thoughts I have. Um, 1422, 1421. Okay, that's a pretty key price today in the DS S and P. Now I'm just talking about for a scalp and for a trade. The the high right now is 1425.30. If you get above that, you want to look for the upside because the market wants to push up and try and chase some stops at 1436 half. So you can't screw around trying to be short if you're above 1425.30. Conversely, if we move below 1417, and again, this is March S&P, get below 1417, then you have a target down at 1425. 